then bring the boom mic a little bit forward, but not on, on yeah, screen. You, all right, are we good? Got red all the way across. All right. Hey, it's the Chief bonding with board games. I'm here with my very close friend from from Academy Games and my favorite stuff. Uva, tell us what you got, brother. Tell us what you got. You know, it looks a little weird, like I'm coming from under the table. So uh, I'm gonna <laughs> like our audience, our, our PG yeah. left audience is gonna go. I wonder what he means by that, mommy. What does that mean? <laughs> Uh, where were we? Well, we got a war game audience, and they're already in tune. We're speaking their language. Scotch. It was a good evening two nights ago. I really enjoyed it. Yes, it was good times. We run a little scotch tasting here. You guys know that, of course. But let's talk. I know you're a big, huge, darn near a million dollar Kickstarter. Yes. Mar Nor Nostrum. Am I saying it right? I yes, Mar Nostrum means RC in ancient Latin. It is a grand empire game. We did about 600. 170 some on Kickstarter, another 240 on Crowdox. So it's been very nice for us. And you killed it. Yeah, and what's great about it, that added extra income really has made us allowed us to make even little miniatures even better. Each one is like a bust of each medieval type or ancient empire with headdresses that are historically accurate. It's hard looking at the camera when I have these two beautiful women. Yes, the, their, staring at us. Their yeah. segment is the beauties and the chief. Play off of the beach. So, uh, so if you haven't seen the beauties in the chief, go tune in because uh, my co-hosts are beautiful and gorgeous. You know, I, I do good segment lead-ins for you, don't I? You do. And this Thank is why you. I've got to wear the hat. It's the only way I get any kind of viewer attention at all. They're like, "Who's the guy with the hat and the beautiful lady?" There you go. Now, speaking of beautiful, I know this is an extra add-on, and I don't want to drop your phone over here. But this is something they can pay more money to get, right? Very little more money. Okay. But this is a full map of the. What's she doing? Oh, is she saying this doubles as a cape? Wrap oh, okay. It you. Oh, you want it oh, around like I've won some? Hold on. Oh. Okay. There you go. So if when not you only win. could you, your hat. yes, not when only you could win, you game you with it, this could save you in a blizzard. <laughs> so Just continue about. on. Sorry. Um, anyway, <laughs> so Mario Nostrum is a ancient empires uh, building game. It is great for everyone because now we changed it from the old Mario Nostrum, which was very happy, uh, very popular in the 1990s. Now we added commerce, we added trade, we added culture, we added um, getting the pyramids like in the old one. So now it's much more more multifaceted. We got rid of all the problems in the old ones. Greece doesn't get beat up on. Changed how the provinces uh, are laid out and worked. So uh, you can still get it with all its Kickstarter stretch goals, everything, all 30 stretch goals, major expansions, board expansions, northern barbarian, two-player, punic war expansions, all kind of cool stuff on Kickstarter still. Click the pre-order button. It's yeah, good for, about for two weeks. Yeah, right? to the end of November because that's yeah. when it's going to printer and we have to know how many there are. Yeah, because you're getting ready to have them all shipped out. Now, my, my viewers, especially the ham tag viewers, which is my war game group, they will kill me if I don't ask you or even prod you or push you on Guadalcanal. Yes. All right. Guadalcanal. I know it's at the printers, right? Yes, it's all at the printers. We're waiting just on, and I was told finally that our French and Spanish partners have everything translated by Monday. So that's going out also. Guadalcanal, wonderful. The guys who know Conflict yeah. of Heroes, the Japanese Bushido. do not yeah, track very Victory, they track Bushido, saving face. That's how we can get people to play like the commanders did in World War II, which modern commanders wouldn't do. So that Bushido thing, right. if you're not charging, if you're not... The bonsai charge, the yeah. honor, perfect. Now, I've also got a, you've got a second printing coming of Storms of Steel from Kursk. I might as well go what we're right. doing, right? Yeah, tell me. First of all, we have the solo expansion is finally out. We're shipping it. Phenomenal. We're all sold out. This is my last copy here at the show. I guess we're not all sold out. Then we also have the firefight generator. Yes. Nobody knows about this because we kind of snuck it in. Ingenious game. We've got guys, we had a group of army officers testing, calling us up saying, Uva, who wins the game? We're having a blast. Setting up, getting each other's heads. Setting up the scenario. I'm going, what do you mean? Who, who wins the game? We made this great scenario. It's great. Who wins it? We'll play the damn thing. <laughs> we don't want it. We're having so much fun creating. This is a game where you're placing back and forth. Each person has a deck of cards with units and different abilities abilities and you're changing the battlefield as you're going along to make it to your advantage. It's not this old, oh you get a hundred points and this how much this unit's value about old school. This you have in blast, you're getting other person's head. 
it makes a different type of setup, different boards every time you play. Firefight generator. So watch my review on that. You'll see it. Keep going. Keep going. Now hold so, on. Gettysburg, brother. Gettysburg. Oh, Gettysburg. The he's elusive teasing Gettysburg. you now. He's teasing. Gettysburg. I've been. You know, I'll post some pictures tomorrow on our Facebook page. Not tomorrow, day after. Um, but we've been working. That's been my major problem. Peter Rovanieri. All new. We're doing it now. Instead of three days, we're doing the southern, northern half, two separate games because the maps are so big. There are no dice. There are no charts. There's no longer. I don't know how you do this. It just sounds like black magic. No, there are no rounds. There's no phases. It's a continuous game. And this there's is no going to work. Yes, it's brigade control with regiments. It's no longer, oh, this brigade does something, this, 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 and then next round they all. Re no, it's a continuous game. And you, you got are, blocks in here. We decided to go instead of counters, going with nice wooden blocks, because just blue and red. We don't care because the flag signifying the brigade, you have your brigade, brigade card for that. You have battlefield memory. Everything that was from the old super thick booked Civil War games are in the game. You learn in two minutes. Can even teach your eight-year-old while well, he'll teach you how to play. And you're never looking at Can I hold little round top? That's what I want to know. Oh, that's at that battle? Yes, isn't it? Oh, shoot. What? You forgot? I forgot the round top. Oh, I guess my I God. Should. I get them confused with the Battle of the Bulge. <laughs> Darn. I better call the designer. <laughs> they were I'm both kidding. brutal. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's so what we have coming through, map. some good things that we haven't told. Panzer Group of Guderian, the old, old game, Jim Dunnigan, phenomenal game. We've been working on it last year. It's fully done now. It's called Guderian's Harvest. Wow. We totally streamlined, got rid of all the ugly charts, all the stupid. Yeah. It's now back and forth. You activate the German cores, take a quick turn, then all of a sudden you activate the Russian leaders, just like the original game. You still have the question marks in the Russians, but now the charts, we got very modernized system, hmm. great. Then we have coming out um, after Strike of the Eagle, our great day game, oh, it's totally done. Yes. At the artist, the Korean War. Unbelievable. You got it some of the Vikings too coming. Yeah, the Vi well, first Korean sorry, War. Sorry, you know the sorry. Forgotten War. It's the Forgotten <laughs> War. But it's a first game we played called a guy from Denmark, called the Low Strike the Eagle. I'm in history, well, he did it with a lot more accent, not my beautiful English-German accent here. And he says, would you be interested? I go, sure, you know, in a few months when you get it. Well, do you have a Dropbox or something? I say, sure, you know, when you're that far, five minutes later, psh, we look at it, it's phenomenal, phenomenal. Beautiful. And we love, and then we say, you have another game you want to do? Oh yeah, um, when I get it done, are you interested? Yeah, five minutes like, the Napoleon invasion of Russia. So it's, we're having a lot you're of fun. You're teasing us again. I know we're way over. Oh, I'm but sorry. I had to spend some time here. No, no, no. We went with time, because first of all, we had that whole like intimate connection right at the beginning. Yes. So, we, you know, we just had to go, and then I'm caping myself with your map. Storms of Steel's coming out. Uh, um, D-Day is all done. We're just getting our time. We hired a bunch more guys, project managers. Um, then we have the Viking invasions of England coming out. We have the fall of Spain, again, after 1775. Ah. All the way mapped from Tierra del Fuego, South America, Central America, America, super. And then we have our first sci-fi game. What? In that, Shut the, up. the birth of soul, all the planets rotate. Shut up. In the, oh, it is fun. You uh -huh. think you're safe and all of a sudden Mars can Now, don't make me wait three years for this stuff. It's all, I hired more people. All right, he hired we more people. We actually hired another person. <laughs> I still have to clean the toilets. But no, we had two all more right, people. All right, I'm with so, you. I'm with you. All right, we're gonna get out of this. Was awesome. This is phenomenal. This is the information I wanted to bring you guys. We're out of here. Say bye. Bye. See ya. <laughs> all right. Thanks.